So needless to say, as we prepare our project for release, it's always important to go to our Java folder here, package, and look at everything and look at our code, making sure everything is good. For instance, making sure that we don't have unnecessary declarations and so forth. That should be something that we should be you doing as we develop anyway. But sometimes we just get carried away with developing and we have a lot of loose ends, if you will. So always make sure to come back and look at your code and make sure that you can get things straight. The other thing you do is you look to inside of your res folder, maybe there are files that you don't use anymore in your application. So you should get rid of all of those. So you just do a general cleaning up. Just make sure not to delete things that are actually important or crucial to the operation of the application. The next thing here is that is very important that we need to talk about. Let's go to build gradles here. You notice this application ID. Now the application ID is usually the reverse domain name, right? So let's say if you have your domain name is google.com, you would say com.google and usually give it the name of the app. You should make this as unique as possible because this is going to be the ID of this entire application for the rest of this app's life. First created our project, uh, it's always important to make sure that we have the correct ID, application ID here. So if you follow this reverse domain way of creating our application ID, you should be good. So that way you won't have contrast in names, okay? Because this has to be unique. Next, you see the compile SDK mean SDK and target SDK. Now, depending on the capabilities of your application features, that is, you would want to analyze the SDK, the minimum SDK that this app will be allowed to install, to be installed in. Meaning, in this case here, we are at minimum SDK 19. So if you know that your application doesn't have those features that require a higher minimum SDK, you can lower this to even 14 if you wish to do so okay so i'll keep it 19 but you can go ahead and figure out on your own depend on what kind of application same thing with compiled version in this case it's 28 we can lower it as well and target as well okay i'll just leave this as it is because it's something that you can decide on your own depending on your application so back to our documentation here there is prepare for release let's go to build your application for release you can go ahead and read all that. But what we're really interested in is the build with Android Studio because Android Studio has all of the tools that will allow us to actually build our applications and sign our applications and so forth. Okay. So here, Android Studio can help you generate one. What is one? The private key or the key store. Let's go ahead and see how that works. I've already opened this up in a new tab and went to sign your app. In fact, you could have done the same thing from here. Go to this sign your app. Okay, but I have it open here. As you can see here, to generate and upload the key and key store, this is what you do. Now, this is assuming that this is the first time you don't already have an upload key. In this case, it's just a key store. So what we need to do is just go ahead using Android Studio and be able to generate that. So let's go ahead and follow just that exactly. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to go back to build, as it says, and look at this, I can go build bundles APK, I want to go to generate signed bundle APK, click there. And this what's happening. Generate a sign up bundle for upload to app stores for the following benefits, smaller download size on demand app features asset only module. So I'm going to keep this Android bundle app, as they tell us to do right here. Okay. Let's probably make this smaller so you can actually see everything there. There we go. So let's go continue with the process here. I'm going to keep that in there. I'm going to say next. So here we need to actually add the path to where our key store is going to be. Now I can go ahead and choose existing one, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to click create. I'm going to go ahead and click here and it's going to show you exactly where should you add this one. So in this case here, I'm going to go to all of our projects. I'm going to go to trivia, which is this project. I'm going to create a new folder inside here called keys. Create. I'm going to call this trivia dash keys like that and save. Now remember that this key is very important because every time you want to generate another APK that will be able to be that will be able to be uploaded, it needs to use the same key. So it's important to know where you're saving it in case you change computers, 
you can always use this one okay so you have to add a password so in this case here i'm going to add a password here remember that password of course i'm going to give it an alias here it's just going to be upload trivia something like that and i'm going to reconfirm the password password here i'm going to give the same one as before and validity up to 24 years 25 doesn't matter you can give more years if you wish to but 25 is enough okay okay then here you put your name organization and all other stuff okay so in this case here i'm just put paolo of course you're going to put your own items here Again, what we're doing here, we're creating a key store, which is required for us to be able to attach to our new APK and then be able to upload the application, okay? All security that's needed, it's all in here, okay? Very good. I'm going to say okay. And there we go. Looks like everything is good. And it says here, uh, export encrypted key for enrolling publish apps in Google Play, app sign in. That's all good. Checked there the module is app that was all generated for us this is the application that we're trying to create the apk for and the encrypted key export i can change it to actually the place where we added inside of keys so i'm going to go there keys and i'm going to create another one called encrypted doesn't really matter but i like to put everything in one place okay very good so we changed the place there and i'm going to go ahead and say next so in this case here, we have two options, build variants. What we want is release, okay? Because we want to be releasing this application. Now we can change destination folder as well. I like to change it to somewhere else where the APK is going to be. Again, inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. I'm going to call this app folder APK like that, okay? Very good say open and there we go so that's where we're going to add our release app okay i'm going to go ahead and say finish now it's going to go ahead and start building everything good so it says build success everything was good and at this point here let me go and look at where this app is living let's go and reveal in finder there it is we have app folder, we have release, and we have So let's go back APK. to our Google Play console. So this is where we were, store, store listing. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to our app release, is to be able to actually um, add a release. So I'm gonna go to manage. I'm gonna edit release. There we go. And at this point here, I'm gonna go ahead and say continue. I'm going to say accept so that we get access to this. So here is where we can go ahead and drop our bundles and APKs to be added. So I'm going to go ahead to our app, so our release bundle there, and I'm going to see and drop it there. So now it says Google Play is generating and optimizing APKs from your Android app bundle. Upload success and voila, you can see that we have Android app bundle number one, version number one, and this is the app size. Okay, there's the release name. All of this was actually taken from our build.gradle file. So here we can actually add some text about our release. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and say review. It says here, this release is ready to be rolled out and it gives us all the information that we have. So next, let's go to our content rating. Click there. Okay, now that we have an APK or a bundle in this case that contains an APK, we are able to actually uh, change our content rating. So I'm gonna say continue. In this case here, I'm gonna add my email address. You should add yours. And confirm. Very good. And here, let's select our app category. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. And violence. Let's see. Does the game contain violence? Not at all. 
Does the game contain pictures or sounds like to be scary or horrifying? No. Does the game contain references to depiction of sexual, sexuality, sexual violence, suggestive, revealing attire or nudity? Gambling? No. Potential offensive language? No. I'm gonna say crude humor is gonna be no. Does the game natively allow users to interact or exchange content with other users through voice communication, text, or sharing images or audio? No, we don't share images or audio. So I'm gonna say no. Does the game share users' current physical location? No. Does the game allow users to purchase goods, digital goods that is? No, no. So there's a lot of no. Make sure to read and answer correctly. So do not hide things, all right? Very good. I'm gonna save this questionnaire. I'm gonna go ahead and say calculating rating. That's a general, very good. I'm gonna apply that rating. Very good, and we have all there. So now you can see content rating is ticked green. Pricing and distribution, let's click there. This is gonna be free, so no need to worry about. So in this case here, it's all unavailable at this point. You can go ahead and check all available, all countries. You can go ahead and then check the countries that you don't want it to be available. That's your choice. And it's asking if our app is directed towards children. No. Does the app contain ad? We must be truthful. This one doesn't have ads, okay? So here is the moment of truth. This application meets Android content guidelines. Yes, make sure yours does, okay? Export laws, and yes. I'm gonna go ahead and say save draft and voila, it's green. The moment you do that, it says ready to publish. Because at this point here, we have done everything that we must do in order to have our application ready for the masses. So we have, of course, created our store listing. If you remember correctly, we have everything set up. We also have our content rating, all is good, and also our pricing and distribution, okay? So there we go, now we have our nice applications. In this case here, it says here also at the top, ready to publish. In fact, if I come here and say, ready to publish, click there. It says here, your app is ready to be published. You can now publish your app by starting the rollout of release in the manage released. Manage releases, in this case, let's go to manage, edit release. Everything still good here. Review, it's a little process. And we can go ahead and start rollout to production. So I'm gonna click. Your app will now become available to all users of the Play Store. Do you want to continue? You say confirm. It'll take a few seconds and voila, right? You notice now Pending publication, of course, it may take you a few minutes, sometimes to an hour for your app to actually be in the app store. So, and there we go. So notice now release at this point is 1.0. We can edit that, of course, once we want to release another one. And you notice also you can create another release. That happens when you want to create a different version. Meaning if you come down here and you make a few changes, make this a little bit better, you can actually build again, just like we did, right? The APK, the bundle in this case, and then push it here as a new release. And the process is a little bit different at this point because all you have to do is create a new release. Same thing as a new version. You don't have to go through the whole process again as you saw earlier, right? Because that was the first time. That's why it was like that. And just like that, we have created an app. We've made sure that the app is great. In your case, your app has to be excellently great. And then we did all the due diligence, create the APK, but also created the key stores and so forth. And then the APK inside of a bundle. And then we created all of the metadata, as you see here, go through the whole process, and we're able to then release. All right, now it's pending. In fact, let me see if I refresh, if that's not gonna just show that the application, yep, still pending. It will take a little bit, and once it's published, this will say published. All right, well, congratulations. Well, now you know how to roll out your own Android app. Great, so one last thing I'm gonna ask you, if you roll out a new application, please let me know because I would be so 
happy to take a look at it and perhaps give it to my friends and other students so they can download it and take a look at it. So it's really exciting, isn't it? Wonderful. Congrats. I'll see you next time.